club began on a very small scale in Providence, Rhode Island in 2005. And it was a small group of people really local to our neighborhood. And then we created a website. And then from there it expanded of people writing from all over the world saying, how do we do this in our own community? So the ink itself that we use is called Sumi ink. Um, it's a traditional black calligraphy ink. It's very opaque black, and that's part of why we use it. The ideal Sumi ink club drawing is a mix of both experienced and non-experienced drawers, all ages, different backgrounds, different styles, all blending together to make one unified drawing. They basically gave everybody the same set of rules every time they came in, which was just play fair, leave space for other people, and change it up. They encourage you to move different spaces. Uh, they have different things you can do. They have panels to draw on, walls to draw on, and the windows to draw on. And from what it seems, it seems like everything was fair game. Anything from doodles to full-on illustrations. Uh, the only thing they didn't let you do was write words or names. It was very sort of like anonymous. Uh, identity seems to be like not the focus and more the community aspect. It's more rhythmic in a way. Everyone can draw and when everyone draws together they make a really interesting compelling drawing. I mean um, it's something drawing is something you know that people have been doing like in the caves way back you know all the way back and um, so it is kind of this uh, primal act in a certain way and I think that Sumi Ink Club kind of taps into that and, and makes, in a way, everyone sort of feel like an artist at the end of the day, which is a really beautiful thing. Informal events is a great way for people to gather over here at the Media Center. And I think the aspect of it that it's that it's so informal, that it's not, so much of what we do at Rice is so kind of focused as final end goal towards a grade, towards, you know, what we're going to achieve with our life and everything in it. Um, and we forget that there's so much in life that is simply about living and creating day to day. And so this work kind of reminds you of that. 